guys and welcome to my channel public service announcement all men aren't narcissists who knew that raise your hand who knew that all right i spent a great deal on this channel talking about narcissistic abuse and you know i'll talk about the male narcissist but i don't want to get things twisted and i don't want anyone to get it twisted all men are not narcissists, all right? And if you are walking around thinking that all men ain't ish and da 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 da, that is just a symptom of bitterness. Okay. And you have let um, the stings of all of your failed relationships alter the lens in which you're seeing all, the whole male species. All right, we got to do some work with that, you guys. All men are not narcissists. There are still good men out there. I want you to see the relationships that you have with the narcissist as more of a reflection of yourself than even the narcissist, okay? Because think about it. You meet this guy. Even if he's love bombing you, eventually he devalues and discards. And then what happens? Usually more cycles of abuse. So like right there is more of an indication of you than them. Okay, there was something inside of you that was willing to dwell with that energy. And there were some lessons that you needed to learn through that narcissistic abusive relationship so that you wouldn't continuously not only attract a narcissist, but attach yourself to one and have long-term relationships with them, procreate with them, marriage with them, you know, get too far in it. All right. Because I can't sit here and promise you that a healthy minded person would never attract a narcissist. Of course you could, but how far you would get with them would certainly be different at that point. Right. The, uh, the amount of impact that they would be able to have on your life would differ. And once the relationship ends, any devastation, chances are, would differ. Because the devastation would probably be minimized because that person had healthy standards and boundaries to begin with. So chances are the narcissist wouldn't get so far. And as they're feeling this person out and they're realizing it, they'll probably run away and ghost that person. But the person will be healthy and won't care anyway. If we're dating, ghosting happens. I mean, who knows? I'm not going to take it as a personal strife against me. Could have been married. Could have been a whole bunch of things that had absolutely nothing to do with me. Or it could be totally to do with me because I'm so confident and I have healthy boundaries and this person was too toxic and knew they couldn't run their game, they had the ghost. Good. You saved yourself from getting dumped. All right. And that's how we got to be. That's how we got to be, you guys. But I don't want to digress from the point of this video of just saying it. You know, all men aren't narcissists. All right. We just have to know how to differentiate the good ones from the bad ones. And if you have been in perpetual situations where your picker has just been clinging on to these narcissistic people, chances are there's some inner childhood wounds that you need to heal about yourself, that you keep gravita uh, gravitating towards that energy to give yourself opportunities to reconcile. And until you do it, you're going to keep being attracted to that energy. All right. You can get one-on-one -on -one coaching with me where I can help you break the cycle of continuously falling for and being attracted to the bad guy, the narcissist, the playboy, the emotionally unavailable, the financially unavailable, the physically unavailable, all right? But all men aren't narcissists. There are women out here that's getting treated good, honey, by the masculine energy. Where, raise your hand if you are. <laughs> you know, that's just completely in her feminine energy. And this man is loving on her, committed to her, fulfilling her needs and vice versa. It's a reciprocation. There are people out here who actually have that. But we can talk ourselves out of it based off of our past experiences. Oh, and then if you've been doing it for most of your life and you turn around and you're knocking on 30, your 20s done went through, your 30s and your 40s, and you, that's all you've known, it paints that picture because in psychology, we know that we are shaped by our experiences. 
But if we increase our emotional maturity, we'll understand that if we make a shift, that's going to change our experiences because we're going to be seeking different kinds of experiences. We're going to have a different kind of mentality behind it now, which is going to change our environment, um, the people we attach ourselves to, and all these things are connected like a domino, all right? But all men aren't narcissists, honey. And if you keep picking, if you keep picking the bad ones, there's something within you, there's something within your mentality and your lens, your emotional maturity that you need to develop, sweetie, so that you can know when someone's running game on you. You can know what red flags to look at. You can stop operating out of codependency, out of low self-esteem, you know, out of poor body image, whatever it is that's keeping you stuck and not living your best life and not getting your results. If all your relationships were bad, all of them. There is something that you have to evaluate, sweetie, something that you have to evaluate. And if you're not sure what that something is, hire a professional to help you figure that out. You can visit my website, LakiaCrawford.com, and I can help you pinpoint what that is in your specific case. All right. But all men aren't. All men aren't are basically the masculine energy for those of you who are LGBT, dealing with the studs and whatnot. They're not all bad either. So there's there's something within you, like I said, that really has to be evaluated in our critical thinking, in our emotional maturity, in our logic to figure that out. All right. So hopefully um, this is helping someone out there with the doom and gloom. I want to give you some hope. There are billions of men, billions of people in their masculine energy for the LGBT and you know, they're not all bad. Goodness. <laughs> they're not all bad, honey. They're not all bad. No one's perfect, but they're certainly not all bad. All right. So if this video resonated with you, hit that like button. We have to stop. We have to stop. And then some of you is perpetual. Your mother never got a good man, your sister, your aunties, your grandma. All you're seeing is generationally fails. Generation. Okay, well, and then they're passing down their methods to you. And guess what? You're getting fails as well. So it's time to break the cycle. Say it ends with you. And you got a little daughter. My daughter is not going to have that. She's going to have healthy relationship with men. And she's going to have, she's going to value herself enough that the ones that ain't really trying to give it to her, they're going to run because they ain't trying to invest all that anyway. They're going to run. And we're going to be okay with that. Because we don't got space for time wasters, all right? But actually, you know, if you end up in that situation, it's not a waste of your time because there's some lessons that you need to learn, all right? So we're going to leave this video there. All men aren't narcissists, sweetie. And if you've convinced yourself in that, you really need to get some help. And that is definitely projecting in the energy. Then you're going out here for a man. And he's is something he's going to pick up, whether he's aware of it or not. And it's going to further dictate your experiences and keep you in a state of not getting what you want. All right. So hit that like button. If this video resonated with you, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Over 650 videos here to help you increase your emotional maturity. Check the description below for all the things that I have going on. Um, in the channel and outside of the channel, feel free to visit my website, like I said, LakiaCrawford.com to schedule your one-on-one -on -one consultation. Look, it's time for it to be over. The year is, you know, 2019 is ending. It's time for a fresh. It's time to refresh. It's time to make a shift. When you get sick and tired of being sick and tired, you will do what you have to do, okay? Love yourself the way that you have other people. Love yourself the same. All right. Keep doing the work. Never give up on yourself. And until next time, please take care.